a lot of us who start using metamask often get confused about having different tokens inside metamask you see this wallet over here it is a fresh metamask installation but i expected to have some token balance over here because my friend had sent me some balance but i cannot see it over here you may want to request someone to send you usdt but you do not see usdt on this list the same could be true for polygon matic or bnb so how do we add tokens or see different tokens inside metamask now remember there are three concepts that we need to understand first when you are using metamask you could be on different networks we are currently on the ethereum main net but if i click this drop down there are other networks that i could be on now i can add and remove these networks so remember if you do not see a network over here there is a add network button and you and you need to know on which network your balance is present so if you are wondering how to add a network i have a wide variety of videos made on this subject this can get a little complicated especially because apart from different networks on which your assets can exist there is also a concept of different accounts within metamask so within ethereum mainnet i have two accounts over here account 1 account 2 which are part of the same metamask installation are logged in with, with the same private keys and the same password in fact i can just click create account and create another account just like that and now there are three accounts over here that i have which can make things complicated so your balance could be across any of these accounts could be on any of these networks and the third complexity is the fact that while i am seeing ethereum over here on ethereum main net you could also have usdt or usdc in the ethereum main net and for that you need to use something called import tokens now let me show you something interesting the moment i switch over to polygon network i can see my matic balance but i cannot see usdt or usdc balance over here for that i need to click import tokens and i need to import a token now before we get to how to import token let's quickly revisit the variables which network are you present on within that network which account is your balance on once you are clear on these two you can simply import the token and get that balance or see that balance now over here how do we import tokens within the ethereum main net it is somewhat easy because there is a refresh list option and there is a import token so if you have balance across some assets you can just refresh list and it will likely show up over here to avoid these complexities of metamask by the way i use a wallet called obvious which is multi chain and does bridging swapping and all of these complications of tracking different tokens and their variations across chains they make it much more easy and i am also on the waitlist to get their crypto self custody card which i am very excited about so i will link the obvious waitlist page for you in description below and by the time you see it probably this card will be out in the market i am and i am very excited about it coming back to metamask i want to now add tokens over here so let me go back to polygon and add usdt i will click import tokens and you will see over here it is asking me for token contract address now remember being completely decentralized anyone can create a token contract address which looks like usdt so you need a trusted source from where you go and fetch this token contract address and my go to source is coingecko.com so when you see a token on coingecko.com over here tether or usdt being an example i am going to click on it and i will land on a page which looks like this over here you will notice on the top a contract option and this is the contract address which also gives me a click to copy button if i hover over this icon or there is a add to metamask option right here if i click on these three dots over here it shows me that usdt can exist across all of these chains now do you see why it is so complicated 
So this one right above here is USDT on the Ethereum network, but on Polygon POS, it gives me an option over here and the contract address could be different. So I'm going to copy, click to copy the Polygon POS address to copy the contract address, then open MetaMask, click import tokens, and I'm going to paste the contract address in this box and you will see the token symbol and decimal is automatically added. I can just add custom token over here and USDT will show up. Another option is to just click the Fox icon over here next to Polygon POS. I say add to MetaMask. It shows me uh, opening. It also shows me and confirms me that I have balance over here and I can add this token to MetaMask. If I now click MetaMask, you will see that USDT shows up. I expect the USDT or Tether logo to show up over here in some time. Now, if you want to receive USDT from someone, it's simple. Your address is basically this account tab which you see over here. If you click it, you get your address which you can just paste anywhere that you want and request funds. You could also click USDT and go inside to find swap and send options. If you want to learn about swapping, bridging, how to move your Polygon balance to Ethereum mainnet or the other way around, I have plenty of videos for you. I expect you will appreciate the work I'm doing for you and subscribe to my channel and like this video. I also want to leave you with one parting advice, which is that, hey, Try out Sipto for automating your crypto trading and making returns. They are a self custody auto trading solution, which means your crypto balance will remain on your exchange and your own DeFi networks or wherever you want it, but they will trade on your behalf and make returns for you. I have been trying them, using them, talking to them, and I appreciate this product. Again, crypto trading is risky. I am not making a financial suggestion here, but this is a tool you may want to check out. So that's it from me folks today. See you next time. Bye.